In chapter five of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Utterson visits Jekyll, who receives him in his laboratory looking deathly ill. Utterson asks Jekyll if he's heard about Carew's murder, and Jekyll acknowledges that he has. Utterson tells him that he was Carew's lawyer as well, and asks Jekyll if he is hiding Mr. Hyde. Jekyll swears he is not, and promises Utterson that he'll never hear from Hyde again. He then gives Utterson a letter, and asks him what to do with it, as he fears giving it to the police could tarnish his reputation. The letter is from Hyde, assuring Jekyll that he's fleeing the area and that Jekyll shouldn't worry. Utterson asks Jekyll if Hyde dictated his will, but Jekyll replies in the affirmative, and Utterson tells his friend that Hyde probably meant to murder him. As Utterson leaves Jekyll's house, he asks Poole who delivered the letter. Poole insists no letter was received, making Utterson worry. Once back in his office, Utterson asks his chief clerk, Mr. Guest, who is an expert on handwriting, to read the letter and offer his opinion on what to do with it. After inspecting the letter, Guest notices something odd about the handwriting. Guest compares the handwriting of one of Dr. Jekyll's notes to the letter. He concludes that they're the same handwriting, except they slant in the opposite direction. Utterson deduces that Jekyll forged the letter for Hyde. Hyde's sudden and intense violence leading to murder terrifies Jekyll. Though readers do not find out until the final chapter, Jekyll can promise Utterson he'll never hear from Hyde again because he is now committed to no longer taking his potion. The setting of the scene is very telling. Where Jekyll, a member of polite society, would usually welcome his friend Mr. Utterson into his living room or study, this Jekyll greets him in his lab. This is where he feels most natural, but it's also the place where Hyde has access to his house. Although he is currently Jekyll, he's greeting Utterson in Hyde's domain. This chapter builds suspense, first with Jekyll refusing to answer certain questions, and then with Utterson learning that Jekyll forged the letter. Symbolically, the handwriting is important. Just as the handwriting is the same but slanted in different directions, so too are Jekyll and Hyde the same person, but slanted in different directions morally. Jekyll slants towards good, Hyde slants towards evil. 